guys are already in the playoffs, but I mean, you, you can really change your fortunes with a win in this game. I mean, how are you guys treating this? Is it almost like a playoff match? Yeah, I mean, the way I look at it is it's a must win because you want to control your own destiny. You, you want to avoid the uh, the um, knockout rounds because anything can happen in those games. So uh, we can only help ourselves, and that's what we're looking to do. Is there any certain mentality that goes into playoffs? Uh, do you change your style? I know you're not in there yet, obviously, yeah. but, you know. Um, yeah, I mean, all the little details are that much more important in the playoffs because it could be, you know, a misplayed pass, um, a turnover that leads to a goal, and, you know, your season's over. So I think, um, you know, every all the little details add to the big picture, and I think if you take care of the little details, then the results will take care of themselves in the playoffs. The attack's been jumbled around quite a bit this year, and especially in the recent month with, with Jordan out. I, I, it seemed like it was coming together for you guys the, the last time around. How do you how do you see it progressing from where you were like three weeks ago, four weeks ago? Yeah, we got some dynamic pieces in the final third. Um, I think the addition of Victor's been great. We've seen what he can do and the threat he can be. But, um, you know, I think we've had the mentality all year of uh, next man up because we've had some... Uh, some injuries and you know guys have stepped up and filled the role great um, so I you know I think we know what we want to do in the final third I don't think um, you know personnel is a huge huge deal because we know how we want to play and how we're where our spacing is going to be so I think um, you know but getting that gel and that chemistry is really important and hopefully we can uh, keep it going have you ever been full body tackled while scoring a goal <laughs> Before. I'm sure I have but not not in a while I don't think I've been in a chokehold like that while while I was scoring but you know it makes it feel even better. Getting back just, uh, to the question about the offense gelling and whoever's in there, how simple is it that at the end of the day it's really about execution, and getting the ball and making that execution? Yeah, exactly. It's about making plays in the final third, uh, scoring your chances. Because, um, you know, in, in the playoffs, and still we still got the last game of the season, but in the playoffs, the chances that you get are limited because um, everybody's a lot more focused, a lot more clued in. So you gotta you gotta finish off plays and make plays, and I think um, you know that's something that that's gonna be important going forward. I don't want to pigeon tell you, but a guy like you who works, who lives, makes his life in the box and yeah. the playoff, people kind of bent, you know. I mean, it's crowded in there. Yeah. Is this something you relish, kind of, you know? A, a ball yeah, there's ball um, there. you're right. It's a lot more crowded in the box in playoff time because people are defenders are more. Um, you know, you're gonna play more defensive. You're gonna play more aggressive. But you know, um, for me, I know what runs I like to make. Um, so, you know, if it's if it's crowded, I'll find space. If it's not, that's that's even better. You scored last time out against Colorado. What did you see from their defense that can hopefully help you this weekend? Yeah, their um, their back line was. I don't know if it'll be the same back line this game as as last time. They were missing Sol Solberg, Solberg, but um, you know, he's. A, an aerial threat. He's bigger. He makes their back line bigger. I think we had success hitting the ball long into me last time and kind of holding up and having Clint run off. Um, but, you know, I think if we play like we did against Dallas and kind of control possession and tempo, that we're going to get our opportunities and then it's just a matter of executing them. Welcome to your first rainy season in Seattle. Yeah. Are you, uh, you ready for this? Yeah, no, the, the rainy practices make it make it pretty fun. You get to slide more and, and the ball zips around a little better, but, um, you know, it doesn't bother me that much.